Hey guys, welcome back to Suge and Allen's Travel Channel. Well, Suge, it's another day. Yes, it is. Where are we at today? We're in Seattle. We're in Seattle. Where are we going to? Alaska. Alaska. We're going back to Alaska. 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 We're going back to Alaska. Yo, I think so. All right, Suge, we're on our way. Yes, we are. Let's go. So here's the part where you're gonna go through the metal detector. They check your bags, make sure you ain't bringing that you ain't supposed to be bringing. All right, finally, I think this is the last part of it for us to check in. Good morning. <laughs> Alan's trying to convince everybody that Dr. Pepper is the drink of champions. But we know what the real drink is, Coca-Cola. All right, so we're gonna get our picture taken. Okay, let's talk about that. <laughs> so we got checked in, we took our pictures, they scanned our passports. We get ready to get on the ship, they say, nope, you're not checked in. So then they pull us somewhere else to do everything all over again. Huh? But it's cruise day. Yeah. All right, here is where the vacation starts. Jump, shoot, jump. Ready, ready. Hello, good morning. All right, first order of business is muster station. If you guys watched us before, you know the second order of business is time for some lunch. Yes, that's We have arrived at the wind jammer. Look at that, Shug beat me up here. It is time for some lunch. I can smell it already. Welcome on board. Good morning. Washi washi. Good morning. Morning. Oh, wow. Good morning. I don't remember this the last time we were on here. Yeah. Yeah, As usual, Sugar's on the hunt for a I window a seat. seat. Strange, this does not seem familiar to us. Last time we were back on this ship was 2019. Yeah, we've been to Alaska before on other cruise ships. But yeah, does not seem familiar. All right, Shug found her spot in the sun. All right, let me give you guys a little glimpse of what you can expect in the wind jammer. Right here is fresh from the garden. So this is where you're gonna get your salads. Then we'll make our way over here to the soups. Fresh baked bread. And let's see what we got here. This is the deli. Okay. All right, they already have some pre made salad, Caesar salads. We got your beverage station over there. And we have gluten-free. Let's see what they have over here. Okay, garlic, roasted potato, wedges. 
barbecue sauce, barbecue chicken. It's a nice little selection for gluten-free. Let's see what kind of meat we got here. This is the international flavors where they're going to carve your meat. I couldn't quite see what it was. Let's see. All right, and then we have the pasta bar. You pick your noodles, meat, vegetables, and then they stir fry it for you. And then here's your hot dog and burgers. All right, well, we are obviously on the ship and we are at our table in the wind jammer. Here's the view. This is the Port of Seattle. Hello. All right, she is back, man. It took her a while. It takes so long to get the pasta over there where they do the stir fry stuff. Is that a, is that a stir fry? No, it's um, noodles, chicken. But I mean, broccoli. did they stir fry yes, it? Like, they oh, did. okay. Mm -hmm. That looked like it's good. <gasps> and you got it's a salad, is that a cheese roll I see? <laughs> yes. So this is how we start our boarding day. All right. My turn. Yes. Alan found his boarding day food. Yeah, the usual. My boarding day cheeseburger. Corn on the cob. This is the only day I ever find corn on the cobs on boarding day. It's kind of weird. I love corn on the cob. A few french fries, some chicken strips, some mashed potatoes. Drink of champions, Dr. Pepper. He representing today, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't leave home without it today. So we'll let you know what we think of it. All right, guys, I've finished with lunch. Well, with what I'm going to eat for lunch. We got some dessert here. They didn't have any cheesecake. I love cheesecake. And then you guys know, of course, when I leave here, it's chocolate soft serve ice cream. But anyhow, I'm going to check out these desserts, and I'll let you know what I think of those, too. Well, what's the verdict, Shug? It was good. I shouldn't have to ask you that for stir fry. You, you always ask me that, but I'm going to tell you the same thing. Good. Absolutely good. I had chicken in it. Um, yeah, it was just good. The salad I got pulled, this was already a pre-made salad and I decided to put extra stuff on top. Yeah, so I got full. And I'm disappointed. Oh, ooh, wow, that does look hard. My cheese roll was hard. Good Lord, that looks, yeah. <sighs> so we're gonna retry the cheese roll for dinner. Shook said that was probably from the last cruise. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's pretty hard. <laughs> but other than that, everything was good. Was your food better than my cheese roll? Yeah. <laughs> that looked hard. That looked like you could hurt somebody with that. I think I could. So, yeah, I mean, nothing to write home about the basic hamburger, corn on the cob, fries, potatoes, chicken strips. They were good. They you were didn't tasty. You did finish it. Yeah, I know. I ate some of it, tasted it. The dessert, that's got caramel in it, which I love caramel. It looks good. But I don't know what that was, but it wasn't good. Oh, really? Yeah. And that's some kind of chocolate stuff with strawberries in it. Oh nope. my God, guys, that's nope. two desserts, thumbs down for No Alan. bueno. Chocolate cake, it's gone. It was good. So we know that was good. Yeah, it was good. So yeah, it was it was boarding day, you know, nothing to write home about, but it was, it, it hit the spot. Yes, it does. It definitely hit the yeah. spot. So all right, time for us to move on and get in some trouble here. All right, it is ice cream two chocolates, time. please? Can I have a good time? Absolutely. Ice cream number one, or should I say one and two? Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Thank you. I'm coming. How many ice creams you got, Alan? One for me <laughs> and one for you. Okay. I'm holding that one for Suge. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, we have arrived in our room. Room 7582. It is a balcony room. And darn it, Shug, she always beats me here. I took the elevator. Oh my. And I, like my, my <laughs> fluffy booty didn't take the elevator. You just fast. All right, so this is our room. We'll start off here with the most important thing, the thermostat. Turn that down as low as possible. Oh, God. Oh, God, poor Shug. You've got your assembly station here, where to go. 
it comes with this little card in here. It's one of those where you have to put your key in there in order to turn the lights on, but they put that in there for you so you don't have to use your room key. And of course, you got your light switch here to turn all the lights on. You got your restroom with no dreaded shower curtain. That's just beautiful. Step inside here, hello. So you got your sink, you got a good amount of counter space, that's important to me. You've got some storage there to put your necessary items. And down there if you want to put some necessary items, although I never put anything down there. Got your regular toilet. Inside here, you have the two-in-one uh, body wash and hair. You've got your removable shower head, it's pretty standard. A little bar down there to rest your foot on. If you're shaving your legs, I guess, that would work for that too. Shug, would you use that bar in there to shave your legs? I would have to. You would have to, okay. Yeah. There you have it. I don't shave my legs and I knew. You got a full length mirror here to check yourself out before you go. Um, again, this is our anniversary cruise, June 3rd. So yeah. we got our little anniversary decor here. We've got uh, your standard bed here. This is cool. You've got an outlet on one side of the bed. Yes, that's just good Just on me. one side though. So that must sleep on that side. Then up here you have some extra storage space on both sides. So that's really good. Okay, and then if you could swing this way, we have our TV. Does not move away from the wall. What about behind you, Shug? Behind us, we have our couch. How about over here behind you? <laughs> that part behind me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, over here you have your stateroom phone. There's no USB port no on USB, that. No USB, yeah. And then over here you have... His and her closets, that's what I'm going to call them. Because yeah. you have the same one on your side. So here's where your safe is. You got a couple of drawers down there at the bottom. There's the other one over there. All right, now we make our way to the desk. So Look at that, desk. we got a picture frame. Yes, yeah, Nice. Okay. I don't think they do 5 by 7 photos, though. We've tried before. Yeah, we'll see if, if this ship does. Another little decal there. They have different packages you can get, birthday, anniversary. I think it was like $45. Not a bad price. Got a couple of outs, outlets there, US, got a European, two USB ports, you got your, your uh, light on the mirror. Mm -hmm. Then as you move over here, you have your hair dryer, which is standard in every room. You have your cooler. There you go, nice size. Yeah. Then you have a few more drawers right here to put some extra things. All right. You got your couch to sit on and relax behind you. Again, it's not a couch bed. Not a couch bed. And then outside, you got your balcony. Nice size balcony. This is considered an obstructed view. Um, I guess probably because you can't see the ocean completely down there because of the lifeboat. But shoot, I'll take it. I'd hate to be the room down below us. That's an obstructed view. So that's your view of Seattle before you board. And you've also got little step stools under here that pull out yeah. to rest your feet on. Come out here and rest your feet. All right. And a table there. Put your breakfast on. That'll hold one plate. And this is what your room, or what our room, your room, if you come on a ship and it's a balcony, will look like from the other end. It's a nice size room. We like it. All right. Time to move on. All right, we are making our way up to the observation ball. So I don't know if we have to wait here. Exit only. All right, as always, should comes in from the wrong direction. So here's where you're gonna check in for your observation. That's what we're in line waiting to get on. Here's a little information about the North Star. I'll stand still to give it a minute and pause. 
All right, this is the first group going that well, not technically the first group, but the group before us. Two? Yeah, what's your room number, please? Uh, seven, five, eight, two. Oh, good. All right, Alan's getting us all checked in. Okay. All right, now we just kind of hang around until they call our group. All right, guys, we're waiting to get on the North North Star. Yeah. North, Star North Star, yeah, we are waiting our turn. Got to make a reservation for it. So as soon as you get on the ship, log into the ship's Wi-Fi and attempt to make a reservation. Yes. So he, it is up, man. It goes high. The reservations high. fill up fast. Yeah, they do. It goes high. Let's go. It's up there. We'll We're next. You guys. Hey, guys, sorry for the interruption. But we noticed that 80% of you who are watching this video right now, you're not subscribed no. to us. 80%. So if you could do us a favor, just smash that subscribe button. Give us a try. We got lots of content for you. Cruising, theme parks, historical sites, national monuments, lots of travel content Everything. for you. Everything to entertain you. So if you could just hit that button, try us out for a little while. If you don't like us, then unsubscribe. No hard feelings. We appreciate you trying us. So with that said, back to our regular programming. Thank you. It is finally uh, our we are turn. On our way. There's our chariot. Kind of windy up here. Right. All right. Let's get us a spot. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, you're ready to show. Yeah. Right. We are on the move. Just think of it as the elevator. And how many feet in the air did you say it go? 300. Down there, to That's the celebrity edge next to us. Think of the show. I like it. I do. Pretty cool. I like how it starts to spin. Give it that 360. Yeah. Goes all the way up and then it starts to turn around. It's a good view. It is hot out here. The sun is like focused. On our way back down. You guys see that little kid's pool over there? That looks cool. Like the water's moving in a circular direction. Like a little lazy river. We'll have to check and see if the water's heated. What else, you want something? Yeah, yeah chocolate martini. Chocolate martini? Okay. Oh, it's 
something else I like. That's pretty too over there. <laughs> Joe's looking for the pretty drinks. What's going on? Sail away party hasn't even started yet. Thank you. There's Shugs. Yes. What'd you get, Shugs? <laughs> um, I don't remember. Was it a peach margarita or mango margarita? Mango. Mango margarita. Oh, I said I work with a company that makes it. Hey, bye, hi. Make me. Uh -oh. Make me. You got it. That's your side of the heavens here. Not here. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So here's Alice chocolate martini. All right. This was recommended to us by one of our subscribers, T. Aguilar. He said a chocolate martini. So I'm gonna soup this one up here. That you're right. That does look good. You know I love chocolate. I'll try this out. Let you guys what I think. Shug back there got, uh, well, she saw somebody with a pretty drink. <laughs> it was pretty, so I wanted it. So she wanted that, but they forgot, she forgot the salt on the rim, which she just loves, so. But she said it tastes good anyhow, but I'm going to get back to you on this one. Well, T, Aguilar, my verdict on the drink you recommended, that was good. I tried to get my face in there to lick this thing clean, but I couldn't fit my head in there. He liked it. It was good. That was a great recommendation. You probably knew that because you knew I love chocolate. But thank you very much. That was delicious. I will add that on to my selection of drinks when I'm on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Thumbs up. Okay, guys, we are here waiting for the sail away. Yeah. Can you guys see the Space Needle back there? I don't know. Like, uh, yeah. You probably have to zoom in for it. Going the wrong way. There we go. It's right over there. Yeah, Space Needle in the background. I'll give you another view in a minute. We also got Mount Rainer over there. there it's way is. back is there also. Right there? Oh, she does a better job of pointing than I do. Yeah, that last erupted, oh, 1854, something like that, long time ago. He stayed in school, I didn't. <laughs> Stay in school, don't be a fool. I like numbers, I'm a numbers guy. And I'm a Dr. Pepper guy, you can see that right there. Coke. There's a close-up view of the Space Needle. And let's get over there to Mount Rainer. And there it is. Look at all that snow over there. All right, guys, we are up on the pool deck, still waiting for the celebrate party, so we decided to get something to drink. Don't get any better than this. So Alan got his chocolate mudslide. I'm trying something a little bit different because I always get the frozen drink. So this is actually Hennessy and Coke. That's old school for her. Yes, old school for me. <laughs> really old school. Really old school. <laughs> Before Alan old school. Yeah. She probably shouldn't have been drinking at the age she was having it. Well, maybe it wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago. Is it good? I was legal. I was of age. Does it bring back memories? No. no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Deck four. We are here to pick up our Royal Caribbean souvenirs. All right. Let's see. There's 
the ornaments. But of course we're looking for, it needs to say, Ovation of the Seas. Hmm. Do you have any Christmas ornaments that say Ovation of the Seas? Christmas, yes, we have. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, what's that? Uh, we're getting that, but we want a Christmas ornament to hang on a Christmas tree. Oh, okay, perfect. Perfect. And then we need a, you got a magnet? Alrighty, ovation of the sea. Well, look at that. So we just need our ship. All right. Put that there. Grab us a ship. Alrighty. <laughs> Add to our collection. Perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Guess it's. All right. We are back at our room. And man, just look at that view. We're pulling out of Seattle. That is just gorgeous. Shug's over there playing with her phone. <laughs> Not out here enjoying the view. It's too cold for her out here, but it feels really good. Well, the wind jammer wasn't too good tonight, so time for some Sorrento's pizza. All right, we're about to get us some Sorrento's pizza. And for y'all who know, when you're on a cruise ship, this pizza is the business. Hi, can I get a whole pepperoni? Yes. This is what you eat those late night when everything else is closed. Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I know, trying to video it. <laughs> All right, guys. About to go find Alan, and we about to eat. Oh, gosh, guys. Woo. There goes Shug with her cheese. Is it hot? It's hot. It's hot? It's good. All right, we ain't going to eat that whole pizza. This is all me, guys. Alan got to go get his own pizza. Oh, I got to go get my own pizza. Good Lord. Okay. You eating my pizza, Alan. How'd, I, how'd that happen? I don't know, but that whole pizza was for me. Oh, man. Let's see. Fresh out the oven. Mm. That's good. How many of you guys eat Sorrento's pizza if you go on Royal? And what do you think of it? Good stuff. Needs more pepperonis. Yeah, especially like on one side. Yeah, that's got like no pepperonis. But outside of that, yeah, it's good pizza. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, oh, wow. welcome back to Sugar Allen's Travel Channel. Today we are in Sitka, Alaska. Alaska. We made it. How's that? That was good, but it was over the top. A little over the top? A lot over the top. Okay, what's We'll do it my way. What's hey guys, welcome back to Sugar Allen's Travel Channel. Today we are here in Sitka, Alaska. See, like that. All right, Sugar wins. Let's get going. <laughs> all right, guys, come on, let's go. So this is Sitka, Alaska. This is what you're going to see as soon as you get off. You can smell the barbecues and all the different stuff. They've got kettle corn, fresh kettle corn. Oh, and that kettle corn smells so good, it, you it, guys. It did. If I could pump it through the phone so y'all could smell it. It did. I don't know what he's got going on over there, but it smells good too. All right. All right, it's pretty busy it's out busy. here. Everybody's off the ship. Look at that Bloody Mary. And we are heading to the free shuttle. We're going to head into downtown Sitka. 
Shug is on the hunt for a drink called a duck fart. It's a shot, duck fart. You gotta <laughs> say it right, baby. Duck fart. <laughs> I'm a teacher, guys. Huh. So Maybe after I have a couple of them, right. I'll say it a little better. Okay, so we're gonna head over there. It's at Ernie's Saloon. Oh. Wow, so this is the line, guys, to get to the free shuttle. It's real busy out here in Alaska. You got lots of shops. If you didn't get a jacket, or should I say if you didn't bring a jacket. All right, so let's see how long this line takes. All right, we're still in line, guys. It's moving really fast, but it's a line. <laughs> yeah, it's like it took us, what, 11 minutes to get off the butt or off the uh, ship. Ship, yeah. And that was a long line. Felt like it went through the entire ship a couple of times, but it moved fast. So this one seems to be moving fast, too. And this is just to get on the city bus to go into downtown. It's taking longer to get to the bus than it was to get off the ship. <laughs> right, but we are almost at the finish line. But the line's moving fast. I'd say we've been in line, what, 10, 15 minutes already? Uh, I'd say about 20. Okay, about 20 minutes. It is moving good. It's just crowded. Yeah. All right, shuttle to downtown Sitka. Hi. All right, so these are the buses we're going to get on to take us. I think she said number four. No, I have no idea. Follow the Yellow Brick Road. Yep, there's bus stop number four. So it's very organized. All right, that's our bus, the big blue bus. You ready? Alex, stay ready. Got a seat on the bus. They said it's about a 10, 15 minute ride into downtown. Bumpy. Well, I'd like to welcome y'all. You know, you thought you were getting on a school bus, didn't ya? <laughs> didn't realize it was a preschool bus, did ya? <laughs> <laughs> if you notice that there's a lot of dying trees or dead trees, there's uh, been a plight of a birch bark beetle that goes all the way from way north past North Pole all the way down into Oregon, possibly to California. And that could be why these fires are burning so hot and fast. A lot of kindling out there as you can easily see as you go through Alaska where the forests are very pronounced. Okay, this is like the bus depot where this is where the buses are going to drop everybody off at in downtown Sitka. And when you get off the bus, as you can see, you can book your tour as an excursion. If you didn't already book one through the cruise ship, you may get more of a little discount doing it on your own. But typically, we like to do ours through the cruise ship. Yeah, like we've had comments before, if you do it through the cruise ship, cruise ship you're guaranteed that they'll wait for you. If you do one of these and something happens, they're not going to wait right, for you. Right, if you don't get back to the ship in time. Today, we're just out on our own. We've been here before, but we love coming over here. So we're going to head over to Ernie's Saloon because Suge is waiting for her duck fart. <laughs> Say it, Allie. Nasty girl. Say it, Allie. Nasty girl. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take you with us to Ernie's. Look behind us, guys. We this, had to, is, this is why we love Alaska. We had to stop for a background check. Yeah. yeah, I love the water, man. I love the water I can swim in the most, but to have a house back there on that little yeah, island if you right guys there. Yeah, can see the house. Man, that's just, yeah. Alaska is just gorgeous. Ooh, ooh, just got a little breeze. Oh, man, it feels good out here. <laughs> All right, we just want to show you guys that real quick while we're heading over to Ernie's. <laughs> All right, so. All right, so this is the Wells Fargo. They told us to make a right and then a left. And a right, left, left. <laughs> One of those. 
right. The bus driver said, take a right at Wells Fargo and a left at this church. And then she said, go. And Ernie should be down here somewhere. Let's see, I see a gift store. I see Blue Eyed Bear. I see the Alaska Gallery. Right, we found Ernie's Old Time Saloon. Yes. Suge's been talking about this for <laughs> months, maybe? Yes, Let's see if it's yes, all right. yes. Okay. Oh, you must be 21, Suge. Oh. I got my fake ID. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the little doggy. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, okay. Got some pool tables and golf. All right. All right, I made it to Ernie's saloon. I was driving Alan crazy. Cause I said, when we get to Alaska, I want to try to duck for it. So I'm sure you guys heard us say this several times already. So we're actually here. It was a quick little walk. It wasn't far at all. All right, nice little old bar. Look like they may have some band or some music playing at some point. All right, I'm gonna let you guys watch me take this shot of the duck part and we're gonna see Alan's face when he take it also. I might need a couple after this one. Don't let Alan fool y'all. <laughs> All right, here's a little list of the drinks they offer. And you see what it says down there at the bottom, best duck fart in Alaska. <laughs> we will be the judge. Okay. Um, about 20 years ago, they took a really large jump in popularity because the guys on Deadly Sketch started drinking wine. So oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Kind of word kind of got out. But okay. They, they've been popular up here for a really long time. Okay. It looks like um, a duck. <laughs> Don't it? You know what, like yeah, a duck's yeah, fart? Yeah. The woman who started to feel a little bit duckish, too. Start a little. That's all part of it. Okay. Uh, what you want to do is shoot this. Do your best John Wayne impression. Pick it up, throw it straight back. If you sip it, you're just drinking the whiskey off the top. It's going to taste just like uh, <laughs> okay, okay. 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 Right. Enjoy all that. You Thank did you. it? You had your duck fart? Oh, we got them all right. Two or three of them. <laughs> <laughs> you got a head start on us. All that one time. <laughs> so you just, real one fast. Shot. <laughs> one shot. Okay. You like it? You like it? I hope good. so. Oh, that's a lot. This is a big shot glass. Yeah, you got okay. it. You okay. Okay. Chug, 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 chug. Woo! Chug, 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 chug. chug. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> was it everything promised in one of those? Uh -huh. Yeah, I need some water. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're quite welcome. <laughs> you just joined a very non-exclusive club. Welcome in. <laughs> Thanks. What'd you think of it? So you're actually it actually was good. Just a fan. Just a fan. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been a fan since 87. Long time. I'm from California. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, so. I grew, up, I grew up down there. It's my hometown. Oh, wow. I've been rooting for my whole life. That, that Super Bowl win was two years before I was born. And I'm coming uh, up on 50, so I'm, I'm starting to get anxious. Yeah, I know. I know. Last year, I thought they had a really good shot at it, so... This year, I think two of them, man, if he stays healthy, I think they can pull it off. I, I think that we've got a good shot as any. Yeah. Uh, I hate the fact that the Bills got good at the same time. We yeah, yeah. Patriots, yeah. Went so Patriots went downhill finally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> All right. It's Alice's turn. Oh, now. Yeah. Wait, let me tell y'all what it tastes like, though. Oh. It's kind of stinky, like a duck fart. It looks like, I don't know. But how do I know what a duck fart smells like? Um, I can taste the Kalur real good. I like it. Would I do another one? No, guys. Really? I don't take another. Yeah, I don't want to take another. All right, let me add. You, you're holding me up. All right. All right, Alan, all big and bad. Let's see him take the duck fart to the head. Looks like an egg yolk in there. Yeah, it does. It does. Okay, Ice Cube, come on. He didn't even frown up. What did it I taste like? I choked that like a boss. 
Okay, I'm gonna show y'all behind the scenes when the camera not rolling. <laughs> and I'm crying. <laughs> uh -huh, we both balled up. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah, you can taste the color, huh? Yeah, I feel like I need a napkin. Wow, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Oh, I left a drop. Uh-oh. Oh, I won, because I didn't leave a drop. You got a I, drop in there I still. I made sure mine was, there's nothing in there. Oh, I see it. Yeah, stop it. A drop, literally. Stop it. Yeah, that was good. I'd, I'd have some more of those. Yeah. All right, so y'all heard it. Ice Cube said he'll have more of those. I'll have a couple more <laughs> off camera. All right, Suge, what'd you think? Would you come back again? Yes, when we come back to Alaska, because we will. I'm going to get another duck fart. You're going to get another duck fart. Maybe two next time? Still one. Yeah. Still one? Okay. All right, let's move onward. Hey, guys, sorry for the quick interruption. We wanted to ask you guys, if you're not already subscribed, yes. please subscribe to the channel. Hit that button. Give us a try. If you don't like us, unsubscribe later on. But Give, give us, us a try. try. Hit that button for us. Thank you in advance. I love it out here. It's just everybody's riding bikes, walking. The weather's actually good. There's a church. I believe that is St. Michael's Cathedral Church. I'm going to go up a little closer and get the name for you. I actually went to St. Michael's Catholic Girls School. It was short lived, but I went there. Uh -oh. Lots of shops and bears. And I'm going to cross the street. There's a photo up. Yeah, I see the bear. I've been looking for bears. Oh, it's a big black bear. All right, so we're coming up on a historic church. This is St. Michael's Cathedral. This church was established in 1837. This is beautiful. This is St. Michael's Cathedral Church in Sitka, Alaska. Alright guys, look at this canoe. Oh my god. Yeah, this is where the bus dropped us off at. That's made out of a giant piece of wood. Same thing with the little little totem pole right there. Carved out of a piece of wood. It's That's amazing. Nice. Let me get a up close look. Don't touch it, Shug. I won't. Let's see, I don't think I'm gonna touch the She probably wanted to hop inside <laughs> of it. That is nice. Now we're on our way to Castle Hill. So back in 1867, this is the historic site where Russia lowered its flag and the United States raised its flag, taking ownership of Alaska. It's a little bit of a walk. I'd yeah. say the area is maybe 10 or 15 minutes from where the bus drops you off, but then you gotta walk up a lot to get there. Kind of steep. <laughs> we're still on our way made it to the top there's actually a different way over here with um, stairs steps that probably would have been quicker but I'll show you show you guys where we came up at but this is what you'll see yeah they have a ceremony here every year I guess celebrating Russia lowering their flag and the United States raising their flag taking ownership of Alaska they've got these informational plaques I'll hold it there for a second so you can Pause it and read it. 
and then they've got different signage. Then you'll hold it there for a second. I don't know if you zoom in on that, if you're able to read that. But yeah, just a little historical site. If you guys have watched our channel before, you know we love historical sites, national monuments, all that kind of stuff. Along with cruising, of course. Here's some more cool information. So it looks like the United States paid $7.2 million for Alaska. Back in 1867, that's two cents per acre. That's cheap. That's equivalent to probably about 137 million in today's money. So they got a steal on that. This is where we came from. You see all those rails, walkways down there and down there. Yeah, it's it's a zigzag walkway. So it's mobility accessible coming up that way. Quite a walk. But uh, you can you can make it up here if you have mobility issues. And here's the view from this area. Saying it again, but absolutely gorgeous. They had some cannons up here. Should you want to launch a cannon? Want to shoot it? So I was already waiting for you to ask me. Where's your cannonballs at? They in there already. They in there already. <laughs> so you pull it first, right? <laughs> you gotta no? you gotta light the the wick, which isn't up there. I don't know if they call it a wick on a cannon, but. Get your gunpowder in. Hopefully, you put your gunpowder in before you put your cannonball in there. Light her up and and hit those oncoming ships, the bad guy ships. Okay, nice little, nice little sight. Here's another piece of interesting information: the first American flag was raised by color guard. Right here on this spot, it says. I don't know if you can make it out on this, but it looks like there was like a, a fort up here and different structures up here. Looks interesting. I don't know how that could fit in this small area. Maybe this is just a small area in there and the fort was behind it. I don't know, but very interesting. More interesting information. Here's a little more interesting information. Here's a little information. Coming down the stairs, we are in Totem Square. Guess you can guess why it's called Totem Square. There's a big totem pole. Let's go around to the front of it. There is another photo op for Shug. And there's another one back there. We're going over there next to check that one out. That's cool. That, that, is that, a cool totem that that's carved out of a tree is just amazing. The talent to do something like that. All right. I've officially been shocked. <laughs> there is a Radio Shack. Yes. Sick Alaska. You guys remember Radio Shack and my dating myself? It's closed, unfortunately, because it's Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, man, I wanted to go in there and just see what kind of goodies they had. A Radio Shack. It's still around. It's shopping time. Shug is on the hunt for a shirt for the grandbaby. There she is. I found her. I had to put my glasses on. I couldn't see. Oh, look at that one. That's cute. Oh, that one. looks big, but that's cool. Yeah, we have to find his size. They got Ooh, you red. feel that heater? It feels good. It feels good. See, this is an extra small. This might be as small as it comes. That's way too big, huh? All right. Looks like she found one. Yeah, I think this was going to be the winner. That's the winner? That's yeah. what the grandbaby gets? With the little bear. <laughs> they had a glow-in-the-dark one, too, but... Look, this little bear came out ahead. All righty. She's still looking. She's nope, not done. Nope, I'm done. Because I've been and brought everything. Hello. Well, guys, we've got some bad news for you. Fortress of the Bear is a no-go. Yeah. So, yeah, we were going to take a city bus over there. They don't run on the weekends. 
So then we looked at the excursions they have here um, in Sitka, but uh, back on board time was 4.30. 4.30. And they said they'll get us back at 4.15 to the cruise ship. Don't want to trust that. Yeah. 15 minutes and have to fly to our next port if they mess up now. So unfortunately we couldn't see it. We'll have to check that out next time. But I will look for bear you, for bears you guys on our next stop. Oh yeah, because we got more places to go to in Alaska. We're gonna see a bear before we go back to California. I'm buying bear spray. You can spray the bear <laughs> while I'm running away. Okay. Well, you're not supposed to run. Yeah, so. you're not. But yeah. I guess if she's standing there, she'd be the target first with her bear spray. No, I wouldn't let them do that. I'd kick the bear or something. Yes, you would. <laughs> okay, we've arrived for breakfast at the Windjammer. Yes. Oh, it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. It's going down. It's always good for Alan. It's always good for me. Yeah, you can tell. That's why I'm fluffy. Let's go. I have returned. <laughs> Got me an omelet with ham and cheese, extra ham, extra cheese, and a little bit of everything. Life is good for breakfast. Got some pork sausage, some hash browns, some potatoes, some bacon, some eggs. He got it all. Everything but an, uh, uh, a waffle, a little waffle wheel. I might get a waffle later. This might probably fill me up. But yeah, breakfast, man. And of course, some OJ. What? No Just Dr. Pepper? Not for breakfast. Uh, this is the second drink of Champions. This is the morning drink of Champions. Orange juice. Perfect. Mm. Well, Shug is not as big of a fan of breakfast <laughs> as I am. I'm a lunch girl She's and a lunch dinner. Girl. She's a Mexican and seafood. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so for this morning though, I did get some oatmeal, a little bit of bacon. Couldn't find too much crunchy bacon. That's what I prefer. I got like three little potatoes, a boiled egg, and a piece of toast. <laughs> what, a, what a cool looking <laughs> breakfast. Right, so, look at this view we got, guys. <clears throat> Just doesn't get any better than that. Mm -mm. All right. It doesn't. No waffle wheel for you today? No. You got, a, you got a square wheel instead? <laughs> All right. All right. I had to go back for a waffle. This is it's like breakfast dessert. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? That ah, smells good. All right. Well, I'm almost afraid to ask. How was breakfast? It was good. I'm not a big breakfast person, guys, but it was good. Okay. Nothing to write home about. I know you enjoyed your breakfast much better than I did. It was pretty good. You know, a little bit of everything. I'd have to say it was cooler than I thought it was going to be temperature-wise. You know, it's, it's, it's a buffet, so it's not going to be hot. But, yeah, it was a little on the cooler side. But still, good flavor. I enjoyed it. Do you have any neck, shoulder, back pain, dislocation, surgery, or injury? No. No? Perfect. Take your jewelry off for me. So just my earrings, or let me take my Everything. Oh. Everything that's not part of your body. All right. Need to be on so your body. need the lotion. Can you run it off? Yeah, just up the steps. You all ready to go? I'm ready. You ready to be Superman, Supergirl? Yes. You have to take off all your jewelry, your earrings, rings. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up the stairs and be ready to get you. Okay. All right, Shug's going in. This is where we. This is where we separate. This is where we separate. I'll meet you up on top. Okay. Get him, Supergirl. All right, there she is. Dressed up and ready to go. She goes. Super sure. Uh oh.
Yes, she tapped out. She won't. She won't. She won't. She tapped out. <laughs> Mixture of Spider Man and Superman. <laughs> All right, Super Shug. <laughs> <laughs> that win is hard. Oh my God, it's hard. Uh, okay. But I tried. You tried. A for effort. I don't meet the weight requirements, so I couldn't go. Discrimination. <laughs> of course, I'd probably just drop straight to the bottom, but no, I wouldn't. I don't know, maybe. But oh well. Okay, so would you do it again? Yes, I would do it again, and hopefully I could do it longer. Okay, all right, next time. Let's see. Alright, so somebody's getting a drink from the robot. <laughs> How cool is that, guys? The robot makes it for you, no human. Yeah, you can see it getting it out of there. Maybe not quite as fast as a human. <laughs> it's a lot cooler. Yeah, but it is cooler. Ooh, there you go. Stirring it up. Wow. <laughs> All right, guys, and there you have it. That does not work with your diamond drink coupons. It is an extra charge. All right, we're going to make our way up to the observation ball. We have a 145 appointment time. You do have to book this on your app. All right, we are making our way up to the observation ball. So I don't know if we have to wait here. Exit only. As always, Shug comes in from the wrong direction. So here's where you're going to check in for your observation. Here's a little information about the North Star. I'll stand still to give it a minute and pause. All right, this is the first group going that, well, not technically the first group, but the group before us. Yep. What's your number, please? Uh, seven five eight two. All right, Alan, getting us all checked in. Okay. All right, now we just kind of hang around till they call our group. All right, guys, we're waiting to get on the North North Star. Yeah. North Star. North Star. Yeah, we are waiting our turn. Got to make a reservation for it. So as soon as you get on the ship, log into the ship's Wi-Fi and attempt to make a reservation. Yes. So it is up, man. It goes high. The reservations high. fill up fast. Yeah, they do. It goes high. Let's go. It's up there. Let's We're next. you guys. Thank you. It is finally uh, our we are turn. on our way. 
There's our chariot. Kind of windy up here. Let's get us a spot. Ready, show. Feet in the air, did you say ago? 300. 300 feet. Yeah. Stunning. Stunning. What do you think of it, Chef? I like it. I do. Pretty cool. I like how it starts to spin. Give me that 360. Yeah. Goes all the way up and then it starts to turn around. It's a good view. It is hot out here. The sun is like focused. On our way back down. You guys see that little kid's pool over there? That looks cool. Like the water's moving in a circular direction. Like a little lazy river. We'll have to check and see if the water's heated. Take a look at one of our new shirts here. It's our retro shirt, Sugar Allen style. Yes. And in the back of it, Sugar Allen's Travel Channel. Okay, we also have that men's t-shirt for you. You guys know how I am about my ice cream. Alan loves his ice cream. Yeah. So you can buy this in the store. Sugar and Alan. Travel Channel. Yep, you can pick these up in our store today, right now. And we've got a lot of other stuff to choose from as well. So head over to our store and check them out. All right, guys, it's time for some lunch on a fun day to see. Yes. Guess where we're having lunch at? Chops. Chops. Oh man, it's gonna be good. Let's go. All right, first one's here. They open at 12. We got our seats. Shug over there is feeling the uh, motion <laughs> of the ship. Bad. It's bad. Yeah. This is, this is the worst. As much as we've cruised, this is the worst. Yeah, and she wears a motion patch. Yeah, I have a patch on around my ear, but yeah. it's not helping. This one's a bad one. So, do you know what you're gonna order there, Shug? Um, not quite sure it's a shit. Okay. I'll show you guys the menu here. I'm going to get that 8 ounce Angus. Well done. I think I'm going to get three sides. The mashed potatoes, the french fries, and the tater tots. And then I got a hurricane come in no Dr. Pepper for this meal. And shit, you're just getting a, a Coke, right? Coca-Cola. Okay. All right, Suge's appetizer has mm, arrived. Yes. Shrimp cocktail with some lemon. I got a wedge with some ranch dressing. We got Suge's second favorite bread, but my pretzel. favorite bread, pretzel bread. Oh my goodness, that's good. And of course, my hurricane and <laughs> Suge's Coca-Cola. All right, time for some pretzel bread. All right, done with the appetizer. starters, the yeah, appetizers. Sorry. What do you think of your shrimp? Oh, they're good. I love my shrimp cocktail. Okay, yeah, my potato, my potato wedge. <laughs> your lettuce wedge. <laughs> my lettuce wedge with ranch dressing was good. It's gone. We ate all of our pretzel bread that brought us another. So this is round two. That's round two. Yeah, I had three. Suge had one. And uh, it's really the woozy's getting to her. Yeah. All right, but she'll. She can't finish off that steak. I'll take one for the team. And I I'll think I'll it. finish it. Yeah, well, just in case. Alrighty. All right, dinner has arrived. 
Well, lunch. Lunch, yeah, that's yes. right. Lunch has arrived. So we've got our sirloin steak. Looks a little bit smaller than the last time we had it. But delicious anyhow. We got yeah. some sides over here. There's our tater tots, your mac, mashed potatoes, corn. And of course, the sauce A1. for steak of champions, A1 <laughs> steak sauce. <laughs> Everything's right. for champions. Look at that sugar ain't even waiting for me to finish. No, <laughs> she, not at all. <laughs> okay, I guess I better dig in too. Dessert has arrived: warm chocolate cake and vanilla ice cream. Sugar, on the other hand, <laughs> she no, told him to cancel it. Yeah. Said it's a no go. So poor thing. Didn't even finish her steak. She left like three or four pieces. I know. Yeah. So yeah. emotion sickness will get you. This is probably the worst she's felt it it's, since we've been it's cruising. It's the absolute worst. Yeah. So, but I'm going to take one for the team and I'm going to enjoy that <laughs> for her and me. All right, Shug, minus the nausea, how was it? Very good. I love it. The steak was super tender and juicy. Um, the mashed potatoes were good. Mac and cheese was a little not uh, cheesy. Uh -oh. <laughs> but other than that, everything else was great. Okay. Besides me. Besides your nausea. And nothing bothers Alan, so no sea sickness for him. Nothing bothers me except for Brussels sprouts. Yeah. So yeah, the steak, man. Yeah, it was good. It's always good. Flaming you know. Yeah, it just doesn't get any better than that with some A1 steak sauce. French fries were French fries. Mashed potatoes were mashed potatoes. The the tater tots, cheese tater tots, something like that. Big old tater tots with cheese inside. Those are good. They'd be even better if I had like some mozzarella to dip it in. Okay. Or not some mozzarella. Sauce, some some like yeah. yeah, not mozzarella. Marinara. Some marinara sauce. Yeah, and that would be good to dip it in. But anyhow, it was good. Uh, dessert, yeah, chocolate warm cake. Not quite as good as Carnival's melting cake, but close to it. It's like the, like the cousin of it, of Carnival's <laughs> hot melting cake. Not the cousin. Yeah. <laughs> the, the old cousin. So, but it was good. Yeah, we just love chops. Thumbs up. Oh, She's a mad woman. I'll sign your legs. Do not leave the green on your legs. Safety first. Well, she's on the move. Going for it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> ooh. She's dangerous. She got sandwiched. when she gets back to the room. <laughs> you can right, see me doing too. Should be huh? doing a little cornhole. Ready? Come on. Let's see what she's got. Woo! Oh, look at that. One. Dude, I'm played, a cornhole professional. She played baseball. <laughs> uh, almost. Uh, almost. All right, well, I got two out of four. All right. Wow. She's getting ready. Turbo mode. Maybe not that turbo. There she goes. Dorothy Hamill over there. Look around, look at that, it's Snoop Dogg. Look at you guys. Oh, 
Let's see. <laughs> she's doing the fancy stuff. <laughs> and she's off. Just tapping out. All right, guys, we are at Endicott Arm Fjord, yes. if I pronounce that correctly. You can see the glacier there behind us. I can't us. pronounce it. <laughs> that's, why, that's why she made me do it. Yeah, you can see the glacier back there. Yeah, you see it? Let's show them. Give them the finger. Give them the finger. Point. Right there. You got know, all these heads blocking away, but it's you guys beautiful. can see it back there. So, yeah, it's glacier. To me, it just looks like a big patch of snow. I know. <laughs> but it's a glacier and it's moving very slowly, but it's moving. Give you guys a look around as to what we see here. Thank you. There's the glacier. Let's zoom in. Does that look like a glacier to you, or does it look like a patch of snow? Or does it look like nothing? View from our balcony. Going back through Endicott Arm. Back out to the open ocean. There's the glacier off in the distance. We are heading to Janu. This never gets old. Okay, thank you. Hi. It is dinner time. We're here in the main dining room. And we're hungry. We actually bumped up our time. We were only able to reserve 8.30 tonight for dinner. But of course, we wanted to do it earlier. And they let us. World is really good with accommodating their guests. All right, Shug, we've made it to we've the main dining it. room. Yes. All right, so we're not sure if we're gonna be able to record this dinner because right. the tables are really close and we don't want to interrupt anybody else eating so if somebody else sits next to us we're not going to record what we're eating but we'll let you know what and we we'll think show about you it our food. yeah and we'll let you know what we think about it well look at this view yes having dinner with a view i love it love it yeah the, the, the ship is really rocking waves are rough it's rocking <laughs> yeah but it's cool all right so we just placed our order should what did you order I ordered the seafood linguine minus the mussels <laughs> and the Caesar salad. Oh, okay. And what about dessert that I'm probably going to eat? The chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. All right. I'm getting the Caesar salad. I'm getting the delicious chicken cordon bleu with some chocolate ice cream. Suge tried to get the pretzel bread from Chops, <laughs> but that ain't going to happen. So it's like, nope, got to go to Chops. So, yeah, we're just waiting on our food, and I got me a Bahama Mama, and she ordered a Coca-Cola for some reason. It tastes good. Okay. <laughs> Sugar got her cheese roll. Oh, oh my God. Yes. She said it is soft. Ooh, look how soft it is. <laughs> mm. That's heaven for her. All right, we got our salads, our appetizers here. We both got the same salad. We both got Caesar salad, except I'm doing ranch dressing with mine. All right, we'll be back, guys. All right, Sugar's got her Ooh, shrimp and noodles. Yes, yes. And I have got my chicken cordon bleu and mashed potatoes with some carrots and broccoli that I should eat, but I'm probably not going to eat. We'll let you know what we think. Well, what's the final it opinion? It was good, guys. Look. <laughs> she polished it off. I polished it off. Got a few stragglers in there, but that's because it wouldn't stay on my fork. <laughs> oh, but now it do. No, I do. <laughs> but it's good. So this is the seafood linguine. Okay, with no mussels? No mussels, but it has shrimp and scallop. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yours actually looked it good. I should have got what you had. No, you wanted that. I did, but yours looked good with the cheese sauce. It, it was good. The chicken cordon bleu, the cheese sauce they put underneath it. You can get these in the wind jammer, but they don't have that cheese sauce That's with true. it. Yeah, and the mashed potatoes are good. Yeah, it was it was good. It was top notch. Alright, so there's his plate. He ain't lying. Should I lick it clean? But he left them carrots on the plate, y'all. What carrots? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, dessert has arrived. Yes, look at that chocolate cake, guys. That looks delicious. Let me tell you if it's delicious. Hey, I thought you were going to let me eat that. I changed my mind. I'm oh. an Indian giver. Mm. Oh, it tastes like coffee on the top, like coffee crumbles. Oh, that's, that's interesting. If that makes sense, coffee crumbles. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, guess what I got? Some chocolate ice cream. Isn't that a shocker? <laughs> they didn't have any cheesecake. Or any molten right. lava cake, so that's the next best thing. Although that over there looks pretty good. It's I might good. have to arm wrestle Suge for that. I'm ready. You're ready. Oh, shoot. Today we are in Skagway, Alaska. Yes, another beautiful another park. Another beautiful park. And we're about to do the To the Summit to Tour. To the Summit Tour. It's going to take us up like 4,000 feet elevation. Uh, maybe a little bit less okay, than that. Okay, a little less. But I rounded it off, guys. She, <laughs> she rounded <laughs> up, way up. So, all right, let's get this, let's get this uh, tour going. Yes. Good morning, guys. We are here at Skagway. On our way to get on to our chariot. Yes, to take us out some fun. And bears! The chariot awaits. Just because I was tired of that heat and humidity in Kentucky, taking three showers a day. Uh, this is my eighth season up here in Alaska. And uh, I did spend two winters, still to this day, ask myself why, but I didn't. Uh -huh. But uh, now I spend uh, my winters in Steamboat, Colorado, so I moved somewhere. More snow and cold. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, as we uh, go up uh, on the tour, if you get warm at all, all these uh, windows up top open up. Uh, feel free to open them. Um, does anybody need to use the restroom at all? Because there's no restrooms once we start the tour for 90 minutes. Everybody's good? Yeah? All right, we'll get out here. Right on those rocks, that's our tide line. So we have one of the world's largest tide changes. Every six hours, our tide um, either rises or lowers anywhere from 17 to 33 feet. So we have four tide changes every single day. Right now the water is uh, warm for this area. So if you want to do the polar plunge, <laughs> right now is the time to do it. The water is about 46 degrees. Uh, but it gets even colder, especially as all the snow and glaciers melt when the uh, full swing of summer hits. As we drive, we can see the uh, Skagway port here. We have four cruise ships in port today. But the Alaska cruise season is now starting the first week of April and ending the last week of October. Here on the right, you see this big engine with the blades that's red and black. That was the original snow blower. Um, to keep the tracks open all year round. And then that number 52 was the original steam engine that pulled the uh, passenger trains and supply trains. So this train was built, established the second year of the gold rush, 1898. The train tracks used to run right down the middle of the street that we're driving on now. It went up north to a town called Whitehorse, which is in the Yukon, 110 miles north of here. So welcome to our historic town. We still have about a hundred historic buildings making up town. Here on our left is one of our first ones. That building with all the driftwood, that's the most photographed building in town. Um, and that was the first fraternity house called the Arctic Brotherhood Fraternity. And uh, the reason they wanted to be members of that fraternity, one dollar beer instead of five dollar beer. <laughs> But yeah, back in the 80s, we were voted the worst stop on the cruise ships. So our town got together with our park service. They came um, in here and restored a bunch of these historic buildings, gave them new um, paint jobs, kind of uh, made them look nice. But we still kept that historic feel, um, kept all the same names as these buildings had back during the Gold Rush days. But since we came in and restored all these buildings, we have now been voted the number one stop on the cruise ships. Now here on our right, this pink building is the hardware store, aka our Walmart. Their slogan is, if we don't have it, you don't need it. 
<laughs> but our closest Walmart is a two hour one way drive wow. up into Canada. So we need our passport to go to Can uh, Walmart. Uh -huh. Yes, you'll hear me talk about Whitehorse a lot. So again, that's our closest city north of here. Two hour one way drive, but that is the capital of the Yukon. About 20,000 people live up there. But again, that's our closest Walmart, McDonald's, and Superstore Grocery. Now, if you look way up high on the rocks to the right there, you see a big clock painted up there. It says Crimsies. Yeah. So I was advertising for this first and oldest jewelry store. Well, this jewelry store is locally owned. Um, but Mr. Crimsy used to make and sell gold watches. And they say the time that was painted on that clock up there on the rocks was the time the store opened. But you all are kind of the first tour of the morning, so nobody's really walking around town yet. Everything's pretty closed, but when we get back, um, it will be busy. A lot of people out walking around. To our left over here is our business district. And we're leaving our business district. Look at that. I'm going to talk about it in just a little bit. Uh, but most of the housing that you're seeing as we're driving through owned by the companies um, that are doing all these different excursions for the cruise ships. Um, it's kind of a perk to come up here and work during the five months of cruise season. So again, we have 900 residents, but during that five months of cruise season, we get an extra 2,000 people that come in here to um, stay for the summer and help work on these jobs. So a lot of these housings are company housing. They provide either free or very cheap rent while you're working up here. Um, but if you're living in the company housing, it's like living in a dorm in college again. You're going to be sharing a room with multiple people in a house. So you'll see a lot of RVs and campers as we drive through town. Those are just um, the people who do not want to live in co company housing when they're here working. They drive their RVs down into town and live in those RVs. So there on the left next to the river, you can see our small little airport um, that we drove by on the other side of town. But again, all of our stuff is shipped in here, so things are very expensive. All right, to our right there, that big mountain with all the snow. That is our first look at Canada. We border with uh, British Columbia. That is called Mount Hefty. You can hike up there. And when you hike up there, there at the peak of that mountain are two different flags. One on the Canadian side for British Columbia and one on the U.S. Um, but yeah, that's our first look at the border. All right, guys, we made it to our first stop. Yes. Look at that behind us. I don't us. know if you guys can see it, but oh my God. Oh, oh there, there we go. There it is. There it is. See it right there. Wow, this little, is a Skagway. Little tiny waterfall. Let's uh, let's spin so they can see what's on the other side okay. of this road. Turn, turn, turn. Ooh, there turn. we go. Right there. Yeah, can you angle it so they can see up higher? Yeah. I don't cool. know if you guys can see it, but yeah, this yeah. is so cool. Water running down there, too. Yeah, we're we're infatuated with water, I guess. We are. <laughs> and waterfalls, everything. Yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. Let's spin back around. Okay, we're going to turn back, guys. Did you get all the way up the top there? The, oh, yeah. All righty. The snow right up there. there. Yeah. This is just a stop on the side of the road. We're not, um, we're going up, what, 3,000 feet, I think yes, she said? Yes, yes. So, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. give you a little that's our bus she's calling us back on yeah. absolutely yeah. gorgeous suge has got her fast shoes on <laughs> we are off at our next stop you guys know how i love signage educational signage i don't know if that print's too small for you to read it but i'll hold it there for a second Klondike Highway, and excuse me, do the same on this one. All right, this is our second stop. second stop guys yes. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you i, I kind of messed up you notice i'm not wearing a jacket and shoe <laughs> and i got on my lightweight jacket yeah. today to be honest it actually feels pretty good but we're not up to the top yet but yeah our yet. cabin felt so good i forgot to bring my jacket and then i had on such a big jacket yesterday i was like oh i'm not gonna need it today i need it 
So yeah, I'm okay right now because you guys know, or if you've watched us a while, I like the cold, I like and the I heat do. too. But but mm -hmm. we'll see how I feel when we get to the top of the summit, 3,000 feet, because it's starting to get a little, a little cool outside. A little outside. chilly. But yeah, look at that. That's just. Look, can you guys see it? I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. Yeah, 4K, but still, I don't know if it's doing it justice. Gorgeous out here. All right, guys, we are at the third and final stop of the tour. Yes. Uh, what can I say? Beautiful. That's Alaska behind us. We're in Canada right now. Let's turn. Show them around. Turn. Turn, turn, turn. turn. There we and go. And turn. <laughs> he got a 360. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt our program. There's something we forgot to mention. Yeah, we noticed that 80% of you watching this video are not subscribed yes. to our channel. So do us a favor, hit that subscribe button real quick. Just smash it and try us out. If you don't like us, unsubscribe. We, you know, no hard feelings. We appreciate you sure. um, at least trying us out for a little exactly. while. So hit that button for us. Now, without any further ado, let's get back to Skagway. Right, absolutely gorgeous. So where is the official line for Alaska and Canada? Right up there past those rocks. Right past those oh. rocks. Yeah, you'll see a green sign that says U.S. Canada border, and you oh. can walk up there. Oh, okay. Oh. It's, it's on the right coming out of the rock is the sign. And just out of curiosity, I guess I know the answer to this, but why do we need our passports? Since we go no back one... through U.S. Customs. Oh, there's, so there's someone back there. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is the U.S. Canadian border sign. And if we turn, there is the welcome to the U.S. And Suge. Welcome, Suge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, she is. Oh. Avalanche area next one mile. At least it's not one of those signs you hate of deer. Look oh, out for gosh, deer the next is. one mile or 10 miles. All right. I don't know Kevin. what exactly this is. Yes. Kiwanis Club. Kevin. Atomic City Kiwanis. Oh. Yep, time for us to go. Oh, they're calling. We're holding up. One last video look while we're waiting on one more person. Nice. So they right, guys, we are heading back down, back down the summit. It was either yeah, we were what, like 3,900 feet elevation, Some almost 4,000 feet. Land homes. Seven, there were no towns, goods, or settlements north of Skagway at the time. And Canada saw all of these people flooding in to this area. They knew that if they did not bring what they needed to survive that year journey, they were all going to die of starvation or something else. So again, Canada enforced that 2,000 pounds, and they had their Canadian Mounties stand at the top of these trails. The family name is Trump. Oh, who's that? The grandfather that made the money to buy the real estate and land, Frederick Trump. And we all know the grandson. Now, it used to not have customs officers or a building. Before 9-11, we just had a little hut, only open for six hours a day with a video camera. There was a nice couple that lived in Skagway that uh, kind of manned the hut. When they weren't there, you would drive through, um, you'd write down your information, where you're coming from, and how long you were going to stay in Skagway, and that was it. And then 9 11 happened, the U.S. beefed up security, and we got that custom office building with officers. Those officers do stay here year round now. All right, she just let us off the bus. We're in town. She said yes. it's about a 15-minute walk to back, get back to the, to cruise, the cruise ship. ship. We're okay. right here. Oh, I'm sorry, on the corner of 7th and Broadway. 7th and Broadway. Sounds like something in L.A. It is. Yeah. So the cruise ship is straight ahead. We'll show that to you. You see we got uh, Harley Davidson behind yeah, us. Yeah, behind a pizza it. parlor. 
So yeah, we're gonna go walk around, show you guys what to expect. If you don't wanna do an excursion, what you can see yeah. in town. And this is a very cute little town. Yeah, it is. All right, I don't know if you guys can see the cruise ship over there. Let's see. Right there. Suge says I'm not a good pointer. She's a better <laughs> pointer. <laughs> yeah, but we stroll around here. This is the back of town. Outside, past these guys right here, you get into the residential area. So there's the pizza parlor, Harley Davidson, Skagway, Old Town. And also, fun fact that we just learned today, there is only 900 people, the population in Skagway. 900. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having like a little vacation house here for maybe a month out of the year in the summertime. It's beautiful. That would be here. fine, but yeah, to live, I don't know. Yeah. Alaska's beautiful, but in the wintertime. Seemed like it never gets dark. I swear the sun was up all night. Yeah, actually, um, I don't know if I told Shug this or not. I used to have an employee that worked for me. His name was Andrew, and he lived up here in Alaska. And oh man, he would tell me how cold it would get up here. But of course, how beautiful it is also. Got to find a gift shop. Looks like they have t-shirts in it. So we are looking for, what street are we looking for, Shug? Second. We're looking for Second Street. They said you can get your passport stamped. So Shug wants to get our passport stamped and then she's got the National Park uh, book also. She wants to get stamped. I think the last time we were in Canada, outside of a, this kind of cruise, was in uh, Niagara Falls. We yes. Went to, the Canada side also. What was that back in 2019? I think it was, yes. Look at this, they've got so much gold in Alaska. It's just sitting in the corner here. Looking for somebody to take it. Here is a visitor center. There's actually two visitor centers, but this one looks cooler. So we're going to go in here first and see if we can get our passports stamped. Awesome. Stamped? Oh, and the National Park Passport? Yeah, I have that one too. Uh, yeah, it's a diagonally across from us. That's the National Park Visitor Center. Okay. Okay, thank you. Hmm. So it's at the building that's not as cool. I guess. So we're going to head Is over to that other visitor center and we should be able to get our national passport book stamped. As far as our regular passports, she wasn't too sure, so we'll have to ask these guys. All right, let's test our luck here. Let's see. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, I want to get my uh, National Park book stamped. Well, uh, right there at the end of the oh, okay. uh, counter. All right, oh, okay. okay. So let's see, we want to get the date. Yes. That's not. Maybe it's this one. Yep, no, let's say June 2nd. Oh, I guess we could change it though. All right, she got her, her National Parks book stamped. Yep, there we go. And it was done right over there. She had a stamp in there from 2019. Yeah, from 2019 we did. Must have been the same cruise, I guess. I'm not sure. Let's see, there we see. have it. September 2019, yeah, had to have been. So now we got June 3rd, 2024. Interesting. That is the souvenir shop Shug is gonna try out. I guess she said we've gotten souvenirs there before. She's got a really good memory. We got these 
train locomotives over here. That one with the big red thing in front of it, that's what they used to clear the, used to use to clear the snow off the train tracks. That is cool. And then we got our cruise ship with Celebrity right over there. Give you a, a shot of the town from down here. Again, the town straight down this street. There's side streets also, but then past the town right there is the residential area where, where everyone lives. Let's go see if we can find the grandbaby a shirt. Well, there's another bear sighting. Shug's been looking for bears. All right, we're going to take a look into the Skagway little gift souvenir store. This is a big one. This is the one we do like to come to when we're here. You usually always find some good deals. <laughs> Hi. You got two hoodies, two for 20. They even have two for 10 baseball caps. Wow. The adult shirts are cheaper than the, than the, the kids little kids shirts. shirts. Yeah. There's some Christmas ornaments. Pretty much everything. You got your ladies department back there. All right, let's go over to the kitty side. All right, look at all the little cute kitty stuff, cups, sippers. Oh, look. <laughs> a little whale. Killer whale. Yeah. Little embroidered jackets. So much, pretty much anything you could think about. And this is, I believe, the last store before you get back on the ship, so. You think, you think uh, Grandbaby would wear a hat? <laughs> he won't keep it on. No. <laughs> yeah. No hats, no shoes. And then you got some men's over here, and there's some more baseball caps straight back. Yeah, pretty cool gift store. So this is right before you get back to the ship. Uh, don't do these guys here. Turn them over here, ship. Got to be careful with that. You hear all these stories about uh, which which uh, Virgin Island? I think it was one of the Virgin Islands. Oh my goodness! Yeah. yeah you got a bullet in there, and they'll throw you in jail. Well, that is the store that we got our souvenirs in. They had some pretty good deals there, although I thought it was kind of odd that the, the baby shirts were more than the adult shirts. Yes. So, but we got a few things in we here. We did, and I found a shirt. She got a shirt, okay. a baby shirt for the grand baby. How cute is that? <laughs> and we got a couple of yes. Alaska It glows hats. in the dark. It glows in the dark. Coming out of the store, we are that close to the cruise ships. So they've got the train over here. We took that train, I don't remember on which, I don't know if it was our second or third. It was our first one, actually. It was our first one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't the second or the third. Told you, Shug's got a good memory. So that is a cool statue. All right, Car Cross. They got little signs over there. Car Cross, White Pass. Dawson City. Yeah, White Horse. It takes which direction to go uh, to the ferry terminal. Yeah. All right, this is going to be it for Skagway. Another, well, man, Alaska is just absolutely beautiful. I love all this greenery. We live in the desert, so to see stuff like this, all this greenery, we don't see it very often. And most of our, our vacations, most of our trips are to something that's got swimmable water. So this is very cool to us. Put it down below. I'm not sure where you guys all live at. Do you live in a green area like this? Do you live in the desert? Put it in the comments below. Let us know what the area you live in looks like. There's Suge, another photo op. Back. <laughs> She's hitchhiking. She jumped aboard. That is that snow, snow plow train. And our walk back to the cruise ship. Shug's ahead of me again. She's ready for some lunch.
We didn't realize Ovation of the Seas was that big. It's massive. Reminds us of Icon. Well, maybe not that big. All right, guys, that is it, it for it. To the Summit in Skagway Tour. Yes, beautiful so, little I'd, I'd city. I'd ask you guys what you think, but yeah, it's beautiful. How, how could you not think it's beautiful? Now, when I live here, having to drive two hours one way to the nearest Walmart, I have to think about that well, one. Well, maybe not. I'd, I'd vacation here for definitely. two or three weeks. Yeah, long definitely. As long as I got internet, I can work with that. So. Today, we are in Alaska, Juneau, Alaska. All right, as always, the cruise port is really busy. But this is what you'll see once you get off the ship. Over there you have independent contractors that will give you a tour. And it's also where you'll meet up if you have an excursion book. Yeah, you just look for your number. You see the people holding the paddles with numbers on them. That's how you'll know what your group is. And there's our beautiful chariot. She is massive. But now, Sugar's been waiting for a long time. A long, long time. Can anybody guess where we're going? It's my favorite. Gave you a second there. Tracy's crabs. Talk about crab legs, monster crab legs. Yeah, these are the best, in our opinion. Yeah, you don't find this size anywhere we've seen in the United States. Well, this is part of the United States, the continental United States, maybe. All right, we are approaching Tracy's, and I can see the line from here. All right, we are in line. Let's see how long it takes us to get to the front. <laughs> Ooh, let's go over here and see where the magic happens with the crab legs. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see. Look at those. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. They said it's about a 30 to 40 minute wait. Not much seating. The line's pretty long. It goes all the way back. Yeah. It is good. Every oh, good. year we come here, we you stop good. here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to see too. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, Sugar Allen is here with Daryl. Daryl is one of our subscribers and it is so good to meet him. He lives out here. We came to his must town. Nice. Must be nice. <laughs> so yeah guys, just wanted to share somebody who supports our channel and watch our videos with us. Oh yeah. Like and subscribe. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Shugs finally got her yes. crab legs. Look at, look at that monster. Waiting. Look at that oh, monster. Yes. That is one so leg. And she just broke his just leg. Broke it. Ah! Right in half. All right. We'll see you guys when I finish. She's she been waiting for this. Talking about it. Salivating over it. Mm -hmm. She is still going to town. Oh my gosh, yes. That's... 
That's pay dirt right there. Good lord. Whoa. Um, yes. It's so good. <laughs> she could probably eat 20 of those. Actually, man. Mm, my hands are just dripping. That's what I'm eating for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> A french fry. Well, Suge, was it all you thought it was going to be? Well, it was what I thought it was going to be because we had it before. I wish they were bigger. I did notice they're smaller, but yes, they are delicious. It was delicious? Yes. <laughs> There's the carnage. <laughs> she, she about licked them things clean. I did. I was making sure I didn't leave nothing. <laughs> okay. Mission accomplished. Yes. As you guys can see, it is packed in here. They have all kinds of stuff you can buy. T-shirts, hats that say Tracy's King Crab. Oh, look at the little crabs. There's this your is shirt. Very nice. That's the same exact shirt I have right there. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Looks good. And then of course look they have the beers. Yours. Wine. They sell a little bit of everything. And of course sodas. All right. So that gives you guys a little sneak peek in here of what you can expect. Sorry. Sorry. Excuse me, you're okay. Drink station. And you have back there where everybody's cooking, getting your stuff prepared for you. And that is it for Tracy's Crab Shack. All right, guys, and the wait wasn't all that bad. It was a total of 45 minutes. That's with standing in line, ordering our food, and eating. Yeah. So not too bad. Not too bad. And it's still, it's still this, line. This thing's still got a line, line from the time it opens to the time it closes. You can see. That's the line still behind me. So yeah, a total of 45 minutes for us, and that was eating also. All right, guys, we're going to move on. Hey, guys, we wanted to take a moment out to thank our newest member, yes. Angela Jackson. Yay! And thank you, Angela. Angela, thank you for joining and becoming a member of our channel. We really do appreciate it. Now, if anybody else is considering, you can become a member for as low as $2.99 a month. Just hit that join button below. All right, there you have it. That's the tram that takes you all the way up to the top of the hill. They said it takes about three or four minutes just to get up there and the same coming back down. Once you get up there, you have restaurants, gift shops, lots of little things to do, just kind of hang out in the scenery. They said it's a beautiful scene up there looking down. And the cost for that is $55 per person. But with that $55, you can go up and down as many times as you like. So I guess that's the deal. All right, guys, we're here waiting for our tour to start. We're going to take the bus up to Mendenhall Glacier Visitor and, Center, yes. And then hopefully hike out to Nugget Falls. That's our goal. I've been wanting to go up to Nugget Falls for so long. That's her goal. <laughs> okay, I'm just, sir. I'm just a follower. He's just here for the ride. But I don't care. I'll go anywhere. <laughs> and this is where you kind of hang out and wait. You look for your sign. That's actually ours that she's twirling around. And then we're going to hop on a bus. It's about a 15, 20 minute ride over there, they said. Yeah, and then they leave you there for about two hours. And then you come on back. All right, so let's get ready to go explore. Two of us. Okay. This is like your main little bus depot with all the buses coming through. The tram's coming down. Look at all the greenery. Alaska is so beautiful. Here's our chariot. So we can get our tour started. I'm like so excited. Y'all just don't know. Nugget Falls has been a big thing on my list. 
Hi. I'll take the yellow one. Okay. Come with us today. Yes. Thanks for shopping local. Is your boarding pass? All right. Thank you. All right, we get a little boarding pass as we get on. All right, so let's get us a seat. I'm gonna get a window seat. North America as well, 16 million acres. About 90% of it probably has never had people step foot on it. Because where we're at, we have 15 miles of highway behind us, 25 miles of highway in front of us, and that's it. That's all you get in Juneau. It's 40 miles of highway. You can't drive here. Only people that can get here are by a boat like you guys or by a plane. He had to surrender his pistol. Fortunately for Wyatt though, his uh, steamship was leaving early enough in the morning that he was unable to reclaim it. So if anybody's looking for a cool photo, Wyatt Earp's pistol is still on display above the bar at the Red Dock Saloon. It's just a fun place in general. They have a, my favorite t-shirt in the area. It says Juno is a drinking town with a fishing problem. Because of all the salmon we have in the area, when the run is happening, we can have over 10,000 bald eagles just here in Juno. 10 to 15. So as we're going through, we'll be looking, because you're going to be looking for those little white heads. If you see one that's just fully brown, chances are it's still a bald eagle. It's just an adolescent. They don't get their head until they're about three or four years old. So over 80% of the town lives in this valley. And to give you an idea, where we're turning off the road right now is where the glacier was when Alaska became a state. So right here. We lose about 150 feet of the glacier every year. Part of it's global warming, for sure, but it's also just the natural life cycle of the glacier. You gotta remember, most of these are kind of remnants of the ice age. Is the Nugget Falls Trail absolutely worth it can't say praise about it enough the waterfall is magnificent to say the least and it is a pretty easy hike to do so if i was to give it a difficulty rating one being very casual 10 being very difficult it's about a 2.5 so 0 0.8 miles to get there so a little under two miles round trip and it is paved it's not just dirt all right, guys, we just got off the bus here for Mendenhall Glacier. Shug's on the hunt for Nugget Falls. And bears. <laughs> and I ain't on the hunt for bears. The driver said, beware. beware. Very rare, but beware. Of bears. Why this chick wants to see a bear? I'll see one from 300 yards. I'm okay with that. Any closer, Dad, it's time to go. All right, let's go not find some bears. All right, we are on our way to Mendenhall Glacier and Nugget Falls. Get to Nugget Falls. So she said it was about a mile. Right yep. up here, we've got the visitor center. Hopefully we get a chance to go in there. We've got, well, uh, technically less than two hours here. So. All right, so yeah, the arrow's pointing to the right. This is where she said, take a right at the fort. All right, see a lot of people coming back and we're headed towards the falls. I set a timer to see how long it'll take me and Alan to actually walk it. It looked like it would be bears up in here, don't it? Yeah. But remember, don't run. Make yourself big and make a lot of noise. <laughs> we could camp out here. What you think? Are we there yet? You didn't say, are we there yet? Are we there yet? I don't want to know, are we there yet? Not yet. <laughs> We've just begun. But yeah, but I wonder, is there somewhere where you could camp? Up in here. It's a good question. We'll check with the visitor center. All right, we're heading the right direction. Sorry. All right, keep up the pace, Alan. Can you carry me? <laughs> okay, I'm starting to breathe heavy, guys. <laughs> are we there yet? We are still we got a half yet? a mile to go, some people are telling us. We're going to get there. 
Nugget Falls or bust. Yeah, now getting back, that's a different story. Yeah. It is so pretty out here, you guys. Yeah, it is gorgeous. You can smell, it smells like a giant Christmas tree. I know, yeah, it does. Whew, okay. We made it. Can you guys see it? Look at that. That is so beautiful. Nugget Falls. I was almost ready to give up. <laughs> I took like two breaks walking over here. But we definitely made it. I'm going to get as close as I can for you guys. This is definitely worth the hike. Definitely. I would recommend this if you're coming to Alaska. Juneau, to be more exact. We have arrived. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I'm about to take you guys up close. Look, look how close I am. I am right on it. Give you guys a little good. Woo! All right, we made it. We made it. Nugget Falls. It's about a 21 minute walk. Easy walk. Yeah, but we walked a little slow, so it could be faster. She's not the fastest walker, so it could be faster. <laughs> Look, guys. All right, I'm about to have Alan record me. I am going to go as close as this as I can. Uh-oh. <laughs> there she goes. Woo. And her shiny red boots. That's crazy, girl. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, no falsehood. I can't carry you. Woo. Woo. Come on back here, woman, before you get hurt. Oh, she's going farther. Oh my God, that feels so good. That's where we came from. All right, guys, you see what it says. This is a bear trail. We didn't see any bears. Okay, well, we're not, not off. Yet. We're not back yet, so let's keep going. All right, we made it back from Nugget Falls. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, about a 20 minute, 21 minute walk each way. Maybe a little bit longer on your way back because you're tired. Yeah, it's a little bit of an incline, just yeah. a little. So, we're going to check out the visitor center. You guys see. Uh, Mendenhall Glacier right there, right above Shug's head. There's that finger. There's that finger. So, yeah, right above Shug's head. So let's go check out the visitor center. Then we got to hit back to the bus. They've got elevators here you can take if you don't feel like taking the stairs. All right, we are in the visitor center. It's a lot of stairs to get up here. So it makes it a lot easier taking that elevator. What time is that? So they've got a little store here with some magnets and, and little goodies, postcards, some gloves, information here if you have any questions, and then the observation yeah, deck. Nice yeah, nice little lookout. That is a great view. All right, let's go over here, see what we can find. 
I'm probably going through the exit. I'm always going backwards. Uh, oh, there's another bear I signing. I found a bear. <laughs> Yeah, again, this is a great lookout point from up here in the visitor center. Okay. All right, let's give you an idea. More educational signage. Mm -hmm. This is exactly how it looks too outside. Yeah. The glacier retreats about 30 feet a year. Right, here's the movie they were talking about that it plays, gives you a little bit of information. I think they said what it plays every 20 minutes? Yeah, maybe. It shows Let's it. Talk about a time lapse. Yeah. You can see it, it might be a glare. And this shows it over here. Okay, let's see. All right. Yeah, I think it's a glare, guys. Sorry if you can't really see it. It's massive. Let's see. Hello. Look the other. Sorry. Oh, you okay? That's a rock. Actually, guys, blooper, where I just said that was the movie, that's not true. This is where you go in and watch the movie in the auditorium. It's 15 minutes long, and the next movie's going to start in 18 minutes. Yep, they've also got restrooms in here if you need to use the restroom. All right, time okay. to head outside. Well, one real quick, let me get my book stamp. Oh. We got to get our National Park book stamp. So I'm going to head over here. Let's get All this right. one's going to have the date. Did I do it upside down also? <laughs> yeah, but it don't matter. Yeah. Okay, and then this one, let's sit that one over. Yeah, did it make out? <laughs> kind of, sort of. Yeah, okay. It's stamped. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Never leave home without your National Park passport. Yeah. That is it for the visitor center. Well, Shug, I said, what'd you think? Because you've been here before, but you have not been to Nugget Falls before. Right, I have not been to Nugget Falls. And that was the highlight for me, going that close, actually touching it. I touched the water. <laughs> All right. How many of you guys have been here? And what'd you guys think of it? And did you guys touch the water at Nugget Falls? Shug's starting a club. <laughs> yeah. Another view here of the area of the visitor center and the area where the buses drop you off. And the glacier over there. Alright. Alright, we made it back on the bus. <laughs> Trolley. Trolley. Got our exercise in. It, oh my God, yes, we definitely did. Yeah, I'm hungry now. Yeah, we didn't work up appetite, but it is a must do. Must do the Nugget Falls. Yeah, it was cool. Back from Mendenhall Glacier, now we are out to get the grandbaby a shirt. And this is where Shug likes to go. This is my little shop. She's in the kids' area. 
This store is massive. They got every kind of souvenir possible, I think. What do you guys think of that one? <laughs> Shirt founder shirt. We've got good pricing in here. She is ready to go. I went a big circle. Alaska Star Wars shirts. I've got that one. I've never seen these other ones though. That is cool. All right, guys, that is it here in Janu. Yep, what'd you guys think? Tracy's crabs, those yes. monster crab legs. How about the hike to Nugget Falls? Uh huh, or Mendenhall Glacier. Yep, yeah, got a lot in today. Have any of you guys been here before? If you have, Put it in the comments below. Yes, Tell let us what us you know. thought about it. So with that said, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not currently subscribed, yes. hit that notification bell. And we will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye.